Let's take a look at uh, your results out this morning. Where the world has gone into a deep recession, Blue Financial has actually grown its loan book by 200, 200%. Earnings are up by around 92%. What have been the key uh, growth drivers for, for the, your year? Well, most of that growth obviously occurred before the credit crisis, which set in in September of last year. Um, the mainstay countries, Botswana, Zambia, outside of South Africa, where we've been operational for longest, were the main drivers of the, uh, of the loan book growth. Now, taking a look at your operations in Nigeria, you recently sold a 10% stake to uh, AIG. What does your shareholding now stand at in Nigeria, and how is this operation performing? Yes, Nigeria has been around since, uh, well, it opened its doors in, on 17th of September, so it's just under a year that it's been operational now. We sold 10% uh, to American International Group, which was one of the, um, the first investors in Blue um, uh, just before our listing in 2006. So our current shareholding is around about 55%, and Nigeria is performing very well. It's a market where we've deliberately started slow in. Um, it's one of those, it's the most populous market in, uh, in Africa. So, you know, we wanted to make sure we get it right from the start. Now, from your financial results, uh, I picked up that you incurred a foreign exchange loss of 47 million rand and subsequently have implemented a hedging strategy. Can you tell us more about, more about this? Yes, yeah, sure. Um, well, the, the funding came through from, from Europe. Our business model is basically one where we borrow money internationally, um, dollar-based, euro-based, and then we'd on lend it in a local currency facility, be it Quacha or Pula. Um, and then uh, normally we would take up a, a local currency facility. Um, in this specific case, we took a dollar facility um, that uh, just before the credit crisis hit in September um, when that money flowed and there wasn't simply not enough time to hedge it in, in, in time. Um, that has since been reviewed. Um, the currency loss has been, uh, has been hedged in. We've uh, actually hedged in a profit now. So that, that won't happen again. Now let's look at your operations in Africa as a whole, if we can mm -hmm. cover that. You've aggressively expanded over the, over the past nine years into 14 African countries. Now, how have these countries been impacted by the recession and which countries are specifically lagging in a recovery and are concerned to you? Mm -hmm. I think at the outset of the credit crunch, most people thought that Africa would be largely immune to the, to the credit crisis. Um, however, what I think what we've seen now is a, is a lagging effect of the, um, of the global economic impact on Africa. Reason, reason being that you've seen a, a deterioration in remittance flows from, um, from Europe, from the US. Um, you've seen a, a slowdown in commodity demand, especially from China and the rest of the world. And that effect has only come through um, into Africa right now. So you see slower growth. You see specifically, uh, specifically countries dependent on commodities such as Botswana and Zambia, where the currency took quite a beating against the, 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 the greenback or the, or the euro. Have you tightened your lending criteria? Yes, absolutely. Um, as with any, any good lender, and you see that this, this practice is not uncommon, uh, you would always do the affordability check before a client is, is caught for his loan. So we would see, a, uh, where we previously had a 40% uh, decline rate in, in loan applications, you would see that escalating to around about 60% right now. Uh, to make sure a person can really afford the loan before granting the loan. Now, I understand you've, uh, over the past year, extended your product offering to include small business finance. How has this performed specifically in light of that, the fact that small businesses are perhaps the most vulnerable to a recession? Mm -hmm. Small business has performed extremely well. Um, it's been around just over a year now. As at year end, the loan book was just over 80 million rand. So it's a, 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 a business unit that started um, slowly in terms of growth, but it's really um, snowballing as, we, as we're going along. Um, we're operational now in South Africa, Nigeria, just recently signed our first loan in Malawi, Lesotho, Zambia, also a country that is, uh, that is operational in terms of small business. Now, our philosophy difference, differs a little bit um, from your normal lending, where we would look at the viability of the business. Um, it's not good just scoring the client, making sure that he can actually afford the loan, and then wishing him well, and expecting that installment to come through at the end of the month. You need to be continuously and actively involved in the business. So for that reason, we've got a pool of experts which the, the borrower can draw from if his business hits a, a tough time. There's ongoing education that's taking place. Morning, well. just quickly before we wrap up, uh, your operations in Ghana, is that still on for the rest of uh, 2009? Absolutely. Ghana's been capitalized, um, so the first branch will be opening up in the, in the capital pretty soon.